Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Void Linux on an external uh, drive or thumb drive or hard drive, whatever, from a void machine. So let me just open the terminal right over here. So let's resize this in a bit. So I do, this is a void. So I'm going to show you how to install that. this system on another or, or on another uh, external drive. I have a, I'm going to do this on a, an external USB thumb drive, so you can do it on a, any external SSD, external HDD, whatever. So if I do this BFK, as you can see, I have a lot of drives. So I'm going to plug my USB thumb drive and if I do it, uh, run the command again as you can see we have an SDC okay it's uh, 14 gigs or 15 whatever so let me do this and uh, you have to change the root so you just so sudo su let me run dash so so if, uh, if I do HDFK, as you can see, you still have that again. So if I do cfdisk slash dev, you have to specify the device. So just making sure that uh, you select the device correctly, or you don't format uh, accidentally format your uh, root partition over here. So so let's delete that, making sure just. Uh, that, that's correct right so delete and new I'm going to create new partition just one partition because no EFI for this don't need the EFI for this so just primary of course you can create a swap yeah primary and that's it and write yes and quit you can add the swap of course Okay, if I do SBRK and SBRK, okay, we have this one, this partition over here, so we need to format it. So mkfs.ext4 and slash dev and sdc1. Okay, yes. Okay, took some time to write uh, stuff down. So now we need to mount it slash dc1 to slash mnt. Okay, and uh, now we I did mount that. So now uh, we need to make a directory and uh, slash mnt so we can copy the xpps keys. So just uh, mk here dash p and slash mnt var and db xpps and key keys okay let's copy slash var db xpps and keys and now we want to copy all of them slash mnt var and db xpps keys Okay, that's cool. Now we we need to install the base system for so XPPS install dash sy and dash r because we want to install from our repository. So https com slash slash and the repo dash default and uh, let's not use default. Let's use fastly because it's a very global uh, available globally so lastly void linux org current and there's r slash mnt and we want to install base system and uh, of course we want to install a bootloader in my case it's grub so i'm going to install also vim and uh, dash, dash 
and you can install all uh, other stuff I'm going to install, install uh, just the DWM from the repo and ST the menu okay install all of that stuff so when I uh, reboot I can record my desktop so I just Of course, you can install other stuff. So um, it's going to take some time to install all of that. So I'll be back when this finish. So the downloading the installation finished. So now let's uh, shoot into the new installed environment so like we can make some configuration so just run x root and uh, slash mnt and run bash x root is a part of uh, x tools so let's uh, do shown root root and slash and mod and change the permissions for that and uh, let's do pass wd root and give it a password retype the password okay now let's uh, do a host name etc host name and uh, type your host name so we we'll just call it uh, b9 Nine one. Save that, and uh, if you are using the JDBC version, you just have to do this uh, extra config, which is the the language and the locale. So use the editor, of course, local.conf, and uh, that's correct. And just remove the last line, so and uh, also the and default and then uh, look at see that local so change it over here so just, and uh, it's okay okay that's cool and now we do xpps free configure dash f and you look at c that's local Okay, now we need to configure the FS tab. Okay, just FS tab. Okay, uh, of course you can do the slash tab slash uh, the device. I'm going to do this the uh, UUID uh, read and block ID. It's gonna print uh, probably all the UIDs that uh, I do. The drives, so I'm gonna delete the ones I don't need. I, I do you uh, did use the SDC one, so we will need to keep that. And uh, uh, of course, we want this one, so let's keep that one. Delete unnecessary stuff and delete the quotes. Remove all this stuff. Okay, and uh, just space and uh, slash because this is a root file system xt4 and the uh, file system is uh, uh, xt4 default default and zero zero. Okay, and save that. If you created a swap uh, partition, you need to it, add it uh, below this one or and. Uh, the AFI as well. Okay, let's go. Cool. If you want to know the UUID of uh, this uh, the device, so just uh, do look at ID and dash O value and dash S UUID and specify the device as DC1. 
as you can see. And if I do this, uh, as you can see, it's the same. So now we need to just install grot, grot install and slash tab sdc. Okay, so I'll just do that. Okay, no errors reported. So now we could uh, just uh, exit uh, this one, this uh, environment and reboot. So what you could uh, just do, uh, add the user, yeah, like a uh, user add plus mg uh, we are going to create a home directory for that ng for growth wheel and the username is sh choose your own username so let's do pass wd sh and give it a password and okay let's add that user to so we can execute uh, commands or have root permissions okay I'm, I'm commenting this one because I don't want to type my password each time I want to run something so you can uncomment this this line if you want to do type your password okay and uh, now we need to do xpts reconfigure dash fa so we can configure reconfigure everything so so uh, with this command you can you are also generate in the grub uh, or making the grub uh, config file so just hit enter and it's going to take some time to reconfigure everything okay that finished so now we uh, just exit exit and uh, probably just do u mount dash r and dash mnt so just now we can uh, reboot so i'm going to stop the recording and reboot and uh, maybe run uh, dwm and show you So after rebooting and booting from the newly installed system, as you can see, I have installed XORG because I didn't install it when I was installing Void. So, so uh, or some things you have to do after booting, which is just enable network and. You do that with the rm-s and the slash etc sv and dhcpcd or you can enable the WPA supplicant if you want to use the uh, Wi-Fi and dhcpcd, dhcpcd and slash var link it to services services okay yeah of course you do that with the, with the sudo and the uh, it would uh, automatically start up, so we don't need to do the SV after and th. We don't have to do this, it's going to automatically start. If I do SDLK, as you can see, this is uh, the USB thumb drive that I installed a void in it. So that's uh, it for this video. I showed you how to install a void Linux on an external uh, drive of course you can uh, install it with an encrypted system or with a swap or EFI or whatever you want to install it just make sure that you select the correct device and that's it and uh, see you in the next one thank you for watching